Hello and welcome to The Moment for Tuesday, March the 28th, 2023. You'll see I'm sitting here in the sanctuary. I'm underneath the uh, Palm Sunday banner because this Sunday is Palm Sunday. And that begins our uh, Holy Week of Services. So they are outlined in the email that accompanies this, but Thursday we'll be joining with Good Shepherd for the Monday Thursday, Good Shepherd and Epiphany Lutheran. Friday we'll be joining with St. Mary's Road United Church and United Church in Meadowood for an in-person Good Friday service uh, there at 1045. And then on Sunday, of course, Easter Sunday, we'll be gathering here with special music and all kinds of great, great communion and everything is going to be a great celebration. So hopefully folks will be able to, to join us in some or all of those services. As well, this is uh, our final week for stewardship and we have one more message for the campaign and the um, brochure is attached to the email or you can phone the office of the church or send it you know, by email um, your responses. And we do invite you to prayerfully consider um, your uh, gifts to Trinity and how you might give them. So I've got another reading today from Good Courage, the book that we're reading for Lent. And this one is called The Way of Grief. So the scripture is, Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. And that's from Matthew 11, 28 and 29. This is written by Alexa Gilmore. I could tell something was wrong by the way the ultrasound tech technician kept pressing the wand into my body, going over the same area multiple times. I closed my eyes and whispered, please God. This was my fourth pregnancy, but I had only experienced one miraculous live birth. The doctor said, I'm sorry. The fetus has stopped growing. You're going to miscarry again. I became overwhelmingly tired, angry, and weighed down with sadness. I crawled into bed, and my husband took our preschooler out to buy some ice cream. The coolness of the ice cream on my tongue felt like sizzling splashes of water on my burning hot anger. Tears poured out of me as I lamented, Why God? And help me. I hated feeling so weak in body and in spirit. I desperately wanted to fast forward to the part where I got up out of bed and began my life again. But I felt flattened by the loss and scared I'd never find my way to joy again. My mother came over. I don't know what's wrong with me, I said. I have a child to take care of. I need to get up, but I just don't know how. Yes, you do, she said. You're doing it now. The only way back is by way of grief. And she sat with me and we cried. My daughter heard us and came in, wanting reassurance that her caregiver was okay. She crawled onto my lap and pressed her tiny head to my chest. I felt a spark of life return to me. It will be okay, I whispered. She snuggled in close and waited for the grief to pass. I'm sure that we've all had times when we felt like this, times that we felt overwhelmed with sadness, anger, fear, pain, sorrow, and how we've made our way through with God by our side. Sometimes God has felt far away. Sometimes it's hard to even remember how we made it through. But we have. This is Lent, and Lent is a good time to think about all our journeys, our physical journeys as well as our spiritual ones. All good things to talk about during this season. Please be in touch if you need to talk or if you would like to share. We're here for you always. Be well.